Hello friends, good morning. In my previous video lecture, I had explained about the static relays. I had explained what is static relays, their advantages, their limitations. Then I had explained the comparators. There are two types of comparators, amplitude comparator and phase comparator. In case of phase comparator, again there are two types, cosine comparator and sine comparator. In this video lecture, I will explain duality of the comparator. Duality of the comparators. Duality of the comparators states that if we change the input quantities of an amplitude comparator to their sum and difference and feed them to phase comparator, then the conditions of amplitude comparators can be obtained by phase comparator and vice versa. Vice versa means if we change the input quantities of phase comparator to their sum and difference and feed them to an amplitude comparator. Then the conditions of the phase comparators can be obtained by amplitude comparator. So first I will consider the amplitude comparator, the original input quantities we change to their sum and difference and we find that the same tripping condition, same threshold condition and same restraining condition can be generated by phase comparator. So S O and S R this I had explained or this I had taken as input quantities to amplitude comparator. SR is Epsilon's quantity and SO is input quantity. SO and SR. SO operating quantity, SR reference quantity. Now for phase comparator, I had denoted the input quantities as SM and SP. SP is polarizing quantity or reference quantity. SM is measured quantity or operating quantity. So, we are changing the inputs to sum and difference. These are the original inputs of amplitude comparator, SO and SR. So we are taking the sum and SM, that is measuring quantities or operating quantity for phase comparator. SR minus SO, this is difference. Difference of amplitude comparator quantities, we are taking this as SP, that is polarizing quantity or reference quantity. Now let us with these notations see how the phase comparison can be obtained by these converted quantities. Now this is amplitude comparator conditions on the top side. SR is reference, SR reference, SR reference. SO is operating quantity, SO, SO. Now let us say SO that is operating quantity magnitude or amplitude less than restraining quantity amplitude or magnitude is strip condition. So in this case you can see SO is less than SR. So this is the trip condition. In this diagram SO is greater than SR, SO, SR. So it is restraining condition. In this diagram SO and SR both are equal. So this is the threshold condition. For simplicity I have considered angle between these two quantities fixed that is 90 degree. We are not disturbing the phase angle between these two input quantities. Now as per duality theorem, we are changing these input quantities of amplitude comparator to sum and difference. So SM we are obtaining by adding these two quantities and SP we are obtaining by SR minus SO. So below this generating the trip condition for the phase comparator this is SR, SO. These are the input quantities of amplitude comparator. This is SO, so this is minus SO. SM is phasor sum of SR and SO, it is here. SP is SR minus SO, so this is here. Now let us take the angle between these two quantities, that is theta. So we get that theta, that is angle of SM with respect to SP is less than 90 degree. Similarly, in this case, it is a selling condition. So, SO is greater than SR. So, we can get the sum and difference and we are getting the quantities SM and SO, SP. So, in this case, theta you can see here, it is greater than 90 degree. This is threshold condition. So, SO and SR both are equal. So, SM, SP, they are obtained by sum and difference of these two input quantities. So, here we get theta is equal to 90 degree. So for phase comparator, theta less than 90 degree condition corresponds to 
amplitude is the less than SR. So, trip condition of the amplitude comparator can be obtained by the phase comparator if we change the input quantities to sum and difference. Here, theta greater than 90 degree is the restraining condition. So, this is the trip condition uh, restraining condition for phase comparator obtained by sum and difference of amplitude comparator quantities and this is the threshold condition that is theta is equal to 90 degree. So, here we have seen that the operating condition, restraining condition and threshold condition can be obtained, uh, operating condition, restraining condition and threshold condition of amplitude comparator can be obtained by phase comparator if we change the input quantities to sum and difference. The comparator, the comparator which is original, originally there that is called as inherent comparator and when we convert this, this is called as converted comparator. So, this is original or inherent comparator, this is converted comparator. Now, I will explain how the conditions of phase comparator can be generated by amplitude comparator by changing the input quantities to sum and difference. Now, I will consider inherent phase comparator and conditions will be obtained by converted amplitude comparator. SM is measuring measured or operating quantity for phase comparator. SP is polarizing or reference quantity for the phase comparator. Now, these quantities are changed to their sum and difference. So, SO is the operating quantity for amplitude comparator that is obtained by sum of these phase comparator quantities that is SM plus SP. SR is difference quantity for the amplitude comparator it is obtained by difference of SP and SM. These are the input signals for the phase comparator. Now, let us start with the phase comparator condition. It is vector SP, SM, SP, SM, SP, SM. Now, for simplicity, I have considered amplitude of both these comparators is same in all three conditions. So, here I have considered theta less than 90 degrees is the trip condition. Theta greater than 90 degree is the restraining condition. So, this is trip condition, this is restraining condition. And this is threshold condition. I will write it. This is trip condition. This is restraining condition. And this is threshold condition. Now, these input quantities are changed to their sum and difference. So, same FP and SM I have drawn here. So, this is minus SM. So, this is sum SP plus SM. This is difference SP minus SM. Here also, this is drawn here SM, SP. This is sum that is denoted by SO. This is SP minus SM, SR. Here, threshold condition SM, SP minus SM. So, this is S, this is S, O. And this is SR. This is sum and this is difference of SP and minus SM. Now, here, Amplitude of SO is greater than SR. So, trip condition of phase comparator theta less than 90 degree will change to operating signal should be greater than reference signal for the amplitude converted amplitude convert, comparator. Now, restraining condition of phase comparator that is theta is greater than 90 degree when inputs are changed to their sum and difference and fed to amplitude comparator the condition will be, trip condition will be SO amplitude should be greater than, should be less than SR. That is theta greater than 90 degree is changed to SO less than SR. Now, theta is equal to 90 degree, that is threshold condition will change to both the signals magnitude are equal. So, this is how a con original or invariant phase comparator condition can be obtained by converted amplitude comparator. Now, I will draw the block diagram for these two conditions. This is the block diagram. Inherent amplitude comparator inputs are SO and SR. SO is operating signal. SR is reference signal that is converted to phase comparator. So, equal to sign is there. So, SP, SR, sorry, it is not SP, but it is SO 
and it's our operating signal, difference signal of amplitude comparator, sum and difference. We are getting SM and SP for phase comparator, they are fed to phase comparator. So, same trip condition, same threshold condition, same distance condition is obtained by phase comparator. Now, this is inherent phase comparator. Inputs are SM and SP. Measure quantity or operating quantity. SP is difference quantity or polarizing quantity. Now, it is converted into amplitude com comparators. So, this is the sign equal to according to duality of the comparator, we are converting these signals to sum and difference. We are getting operating signal and difference signal for amplitude comparator. So, the conditions, trick condition, restraining condition and threshold conditions they of the phase comparator can be generated by amplitude comparator by converting the signals to their sum and difference. So, this is the duality of the comparator. Friends, if you feel this video lecture useful, then please like it. Ask your friends, colleagues, you also subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on power system protection and high voltage engineering. If you want to make effective and efficient use of time, then read my book on time management. The link for the book is given in the description box. I have launched a useful course for students on Udemy. This course is very useful for the students who are preparing for competitive and entrance exams. The link for the course is also given in the description box. Thank you.